Um, it seems fine, right? Got Delver, a Ponder, a Smash, a Force. There's a Moxin. Mox, Jet, Duress, sure. You gotta ask, ask the ever important question to form it like this. Am I dead opponent? Duress doesn't normally go into things that are planning to play fair. I'm not super familiar with I'm not super familiar with Vintage, but I feel like if you're playing Duress and not Thoughtseize, you're probably not playing very fair. They took my Force of Will, so that probably means they're trying to kill us very quickly. Ah, second piece of power. That was our first mistake. We didn't draw enough power. You got opponent preordained? Sure. Thankfully, I've got this stone rain here that deals three damage to my opponent. The question is, do I delve on one or do I ponder on one? I guess they could potentially play a land and I could like strip mine on one too. A hey, quicks. Good evening. Evening to everyone that's hanging out. Christy decided to go to bed and I was like, I feel like playing some vintage. Oh, well, here we are. Play some vintage. When it went bottom top, so they found one worth keeping there. Didn't play a land. Okay. Spell Pierce is pretty good. Um, man, what do I do here? So many choices. Definitely playing a Volk. Let's just cast the Delver. Get that going on. It could be paradoxical outcome. Oh, I forgot to do the stream decker thing, right? I should do that. I mean, if you are interested in playing a high volume of games of Magic, there's no better tool than Magic Online for playing a high volume of number of games of Magic. Like, it's certainly far from perfect, but it's very good for that task. When is the next Spanish Inquisition stream? Not sure. Going out, Pete. Good evening. Ma magic in general is expensive. This is technically less expensive than actual magic, but still, still expensive. I definitely concur. I feel like they could take the price of every deck, on, every kind of deck of magic online, and like cut it in fourth, and it would be like reasonably priced. This stream is so much calmer without children. You're not wrong. You're not. The children are sleeping. I'm just, just getting to hang out here and play magic and read read messages in chat. Even even when it's just Declan, things get pretty rowdy. Yeah, yeah, I mean like if you're converting like a real legacy deck into a moto legacy deck, not only will you play legacy more on Magic Online than you likely play it in paper, but like you're gonna have a lot of money left over. This pre went bottom bottom, so that's probably a good sign for us. Hopefully we're not anywhere close to dead. Reasonable speaking volumes, yep. 
Yeah, still no other land. That's that's like great for us, right? So I'm just gonna like smash this mock sapphire. It's like go total ape on it. I am so bad at flipping Dilver Secrets. And right, cast Stone Rain. This Banish Inquisition is so much fun. It's 10 out of 10 my favorite favorite magic deck right now. Not not particularly close. Smash their black source. Why? No, I'd rather smash their blue source, I think. Yeah, mtgotraders.com. I'm going to sponsor the stream there. You can uh, use the discount code, get to save yourself some money. You just paste the deck list into their thing or upload a text file with the cards in it. You click, uh, what's the button called? You click decks on the thing, and then you can either pay and hit upload, and then you can either choose a file or paste the deck list. So I upload all the cards here. You put one ones in this vintage deck, right? All right, there's got the vamp tutor. I assume that means I'm dead. I don't know, they don't have any mana, right? You called S.I. Awful. I don't remember that explicitly, but that probably sounds like this. I mean, to be fair, I didn't say S.I. was good. I said it's the most fun I've had playing Magic in a long time. I think uh, compared to... Oh, we are going to get fucking... Uh, paradoxical outcome and just hate ourselves. Um, to be fair, Spanish Inquisition and Belcher are both terrible decks. Like as far as as far as like good legacy decks are concerned. Now, which one is more terrible is probably up for debate, but I don't think either either of them are particularly like fantastic or powerful. Main deck defense grid. One card left. What are we what are we doing here, opponent? Ad nauseum? Dark petition, okay. Um, Storm is five. What are they getting here? What are they getting? Storm is five. Probably some scary vintage card that's banned in Legacy. It's going to kill me here. They're going to have four black mana here. Yogg will. Yogg will certainly kills me, right? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Scary, scary vintage card that kills me dead. It's going to be one, two. They're going to be short mana, right? They can't, they can't yog will into killing me because they don't have any other mana. They're only going to have so three. Yog will cost three. Then this is one, to five recast this they can't get tendrils i wanted to try a fair deck pete that doesn't that doesn't cast me that doesn't kill me unless i'm missing something because this is they'll have one two five yeah i know they cast these two cards and then they don't have enough mana to actually kill me is their problem I guess they get Yogwill, and then no, they're just short mana. That that's not enough storm. If they cast Vamp Tutor and then Preordain, they still don't have enough mana. That's still going to be one two mana and only have three left over. Yeah, they're mana short no matter how they cut this with Yogwill. So people telling me I am dead. They did the math, ladies and gentlemen. It's not Yogwill for lethal. Yeah, I think they have to like Yogwill and then like mock Sapphire Necropotence. That's a card. That's a card, ladies and gentlemen. Of consenting age. You in a cabaret, some town down. Burlesque queen. Probably still dead. Talk mentioning. Scary cards that are banned in Legacy. So probably, probably certainly still dead. Just not yet. I mean, give, it, give it a turn here. I 
I could flip to my... I have a second... I have one more Smash the Smithereens in my deck. I also have, um, have one copy of Null Rod. So we've got a couple, a couple of good draws here. If we draw a land... This ponder gives me redraws towards those things. The spell pierce is not going to be live because of this main deck defense grid. In a lap dance, rain and night. We could flip to lightning bolt and kill them. Afraid that I. That I... Oh, they don't have Mana Vault next turn. Okay, that's good for us. This place... Exactly where you... I'm exactly where you know. Praying for love in a lap tent. Alright. Yeah, this smash seems good, right? Nope, don't go full. Which of his mana sources do I kill? I'm killing one of his mana sources here, right? Do I kill the mana crypt or do I kill the mox opal? I probably want to kill this one, right? My gut says I want to kill this one. They have to pay mana to untap, right? Yeah. Is it the, is it the jet? Why is it the jet? Can you explain that to me? I feel like I want to kill the crypt. I feel like I want to just cut them off. Man, like they drew seven cards, right? They're probably going to have a color man. Like they they literally discarded a swamp. Oh, I could kill the jet, and then this could kill them. Oh, yeah, that's that's the line. All right, I forgot this could kill them. Fifty percent to die to the crypt. I forgot. Forgot they're fifty percent to die to the crypt. All right. YOLO. Playing and naivety, praying for love. Playing and naivety. Forgot. Look, these, this is, this is why, this is why I'm playing vintage here. Because I'm not familiar with all these cards that are banned in Legacy. So, you know, please die, opponent. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Won the flip. That's... That sounds like about my night. Good stuff. Good stuff. If we would have just flipped this Delver, they'd have died. <sighs> That's supposed to deal the damage to them. Uh, mortal. Aren't they supposed to take a damage from this? Do they not take a damage from this? Oh, Necropotent skips it. Got it. Got it. Judge my opponent use a coin flip to the server the result of this match. Please ban. All right, so this this is Yogg will kill me, right? This this should be a lethal Yogg will. You go, Mox, Mox, Lotus, Firmus three currently. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's lethal. I'm assuming they're going to click it correctly. Just move on with my life. It's unfortunate. All right, so these get to come in. A lot, a lot of things could have broke our way to win that game, but let's uh, not focus on that and move on. Next one here. I think this is a mentor out matchup. Uh, 
Delver, Delver had chances to flip. They could have lost coin flips. There have been a few things that went better for us there. All right, what else am I cutting here? I feel like I don't want to cut too many win conditions. Two, two more cards I need to cut here. Too many things that destroy artifacts, maybe. Rex seems pretty artifact dependent. Maybe cards that shatter. Although I guess they've got like main deck defense grids, so like all of these seem really good. They have enough blue cards to make this reasonable. Maybe, maybe not. I think so, Rogue. I think the fact that they had main deck defense grid means I want five ways to destroy artifacts. Do this. This. Love to play first. Null rod go. Force plus mind break trap. Let's do it. I don't think you board counter magic out because of defense grid. I think the counter magic's fine. Use use my lotus pedal to cast null rod here. I cut the second Null Rod from this list tonight. That's probably a mistake. I'm probably just supposed to play two of this card. Really fucking good in this format. Stony. Oh, 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 oh. Almost, almost auto pass there. Don't want to. Probably wanted the fight over stuff. Resolves. I'm going to take the Preordain. Pierce does also counter grid, which is like not unreasonable. Took the trap. Interesting. Delver. Hmm. Take a bulk. I think kills Necropotence too. A card. I like being aggressive with my counter magic in these types of matches, especially the soft counters. I just stop their setup and use my mana efficiently. Oh, oh yeah. I haven't uh, managed to blow any of the right people at Wizards of the Coast, Matt Pomonte. Mostly, mostly through lack of trying on my part. If we're being honest, my, my fellatio skills have mostly go, gone unused, and as far as Wizards of the Coast goes, I have, have no desire to blow anyone that, that works there. Look at that. Spell pierce that. Wasteland you. That's good, clean living. No inflation. It's possible I cut too many threats. I boarded out two threats. I'm gonna play these lands out. There's only one brainstorm in these decks. I might as well work towards hard casting this. What? What an interesting game of magic. And I am ready to fuck these artifacts up. Put them in the ground. The way you hurt me. Oh. There we go. Here we go. We're gonna get smashy next turn on this, probably. Hurt me, baby. Doctor PZ is in the house. Yep. Need ten out of ten. Need the need the chat to host me up on their back. Eventually. Good, good at lip service. God, how good will it be if we just draw a bunch of... Oh no, are they going off? This feels like they're going off. Are they about to shatter my Null Rod here? It feels like my Null Rod is not long for this world.
Oh. Okay, so we're just dead. Good stuff. Good stuff. Did I go down too many blue cards? I actually didn't cut that many blue cards, right? I cut three blue cards and I boarded two blue cards in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-six. I'm at twenty-five blue cards right now. Super dead, right? Yep. That's that's unfortunate. All right. Well, we tried. Both both teams tried their hardest. I'm assuming this is a paradoxical outcome. And like, they know about this force of will, so they're just like, going all in here. Or maybe they have a mind break trap, or some kind of counterspell for this. Even if I had a blue card, which I don't unfortunately. Lesson learned. Could play multiple null rods. Or draw one more blue card. One of the two. What is going on, opponent? The, the other frustrating part about this game is my opponent has 9 minutes left and I have 21 minutes left. I only played two games. Yep. Just gonna... On with our lives. Oh, wait, no! I guess, no, that doesn't matter, right? They just draw a bunch of cards in response. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. All right, let's get start to the league. What a bargain indeed. I right, almost, oh, the, the quality 0-1-3-0 pair up. Welcome to GP Charlotte, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everyone's having a good time. Say no to that one. Mm -hmm. I don't want that for now. I guess they could be land still. This is a Jace. Yeah, it looks like a Jace. Glory day, I aim fire. All right, well, I guess we're gonna bolt them in response here. Their Jace is Raven Scrime. We discard a card. That's probably fine. Like to redirect to Jace. Next turn we'll go Tundra Mox Pass. That way we can snap bolt. Gonna preordain here. We can still snap missed up. Do I want the smash? Probably not. I'm probably in the market for the spell pierce though, right? I guess the smash is good with the spell pierce. Oh, uh, it's fine. That's the turn. Uncounterable human. Sure. Okay. Can't say that I was expecting that one. Uh, I guess I'm going to snap bolt this so I can preordain this turn.
Map Guester Mage sleeping on the job here. Maybe keeping this keeping the spell pierce was wrong. Um on this. Take the preordain. We could rip like a mentor or a pyromancer, and then this card's good. What are the odds there's a sweeper in their deck? Probably low with the fact there's a Thali in their deck. I'm just gonna go Delver Delver here. Supreme Verdict did and just like cry myself silently to sleep. This format feels like there's less there's less creature interaction in it, so I feel like I'm less likely to get hit by a sweeper, but again, just don't don't really know. Please don't let me know how Supreme Revert is. Hey, open do with the brand new subscription. Thank you very much and welcome. I appreciate that. Subscriptions are the best way you can support my content here. So if you're enjoying the good old vintages, please uh, please consider subscribing. That's fine, right? This lets me save the fetch to crack in between these. Put the card on top. Okay, here's the question. Do I fetch in response? Do I fetch in response? I feel like I'm supposed to fetch in response. No, this makes a colorless mana. I could have pierced the Jace, but it wouldn't have done anything. I'm supposed to fetch in response here. God, f you magic online. Oh, maybe that was wrong. Maybe we're just supposed to take the risk. Well, these things can't kill Jays, which is a tilt. Here that one. Reason, prove me wrong. Now you get to brainstorm with this. So this thing was like a fog plus a brainstorm here. It's like pretty bad for us because I can never flip a Delver to save my fucking life. Our Delver outs to flip here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna make myself upset looking at this. Uh, stick has 25. I guess it's not that many. Monastery mentor. Yep. I definitely enjoyed. I honestly, I think that's one of the reasons why I enjoy I enjoy Hex so much. Like not not dealing with planeswalkers is like kind of great. At least the spell pierce did something. I managed to flip a delver here. We're gonna get mental missteps and just like weep silently. Come on, one time dealer. So now I have to suicide a delver. And if they, if they have an instant speed spell here, we're just, just dead, and they do. Just, that's really frustrating. Maybe we'll just take the kids out on Saturday instead of playing Vintage. <laughs> Not seem like a Smash matchup or a Null Rod matchup. Uh, Plow doesn't seem particularly good. Yeah, like that last set, just like drew, drew four bricks. While opponent hit their, their Teleriot Academy into stuff. Alright, let's do that. I mean, Planeswalkers are just like a Shaharazad that's legal, right? Basically what it comes down to. Uh, 
out of here. I don't know why they're brainstorming on one, but got more power to kill. <laughs> and we're flustering my fluster. Got him. Got me. To deploy my Black Lotus so I could pay for their fluster storm. Maybe, maybe they messed up the magic online. I wasn't even sure I was supposed to fluster storm their brainstorm. But like, sure, they fought over it, I guess. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip mine them on my turn. It's very possible that the changes I made to this Grixis Delver, this Blue Red Delver deck just made it much worse. Hey, SJ B Langler with, with the five month resubscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. I'm just gonna crack this Lotus and play this, uh, play this Young Pyromancer. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. As always, subscriptions, best way you can say you appreciate my content here. They allow me to spend more time here and less time doing other things. Don't force me, bro. Not to flush or storm you. I guess I'm okay with them forcing me. Down on me. That's not really a huge errata. Every every card that says creature or player now says creature, player, or planeswalker. I guess it's a large number of cards, but like functionally in terms of remembering, it's like really not that large. I'm sure magic players will cry about it, but real really it's not that big of a deal. I mean, they don't have any stuff left, and we're going to get to run them out with our creatures here. My sequencing there was very bad. A full bob joke with the brand new 499 subscription. Thank you very much, and welcome. People like the evening vintage. Noted. Come on. Come on, bottom it. Please bottom it so I can flip this Delver. Please bottom it so I can flip. God, just every time. Every, every freaking time. Just never, ever fucking lucky. It's not like I have brainstorms to hold this for in my hand, so I guess we'll play it out. A fetch land would have been great too. Yep, just like had to be one of, had to be a wasteland. Just like actually the stone worst draw on the deck. What do you have for five? Oh, just that dear deal. Call. Oh, opponent just casually gets to see six more cards this turn. I guess they could theoretically push the Jace again. Come on, bottom, please. God bless. Flip the Delver. I need to flip this Delver to have a chance this game. Holy shit. I am just... We're not even that lucky with that shitty deck. Just... Is is what it is what it is. It's it's evenings like this Hey <laughs> true ancestral recall, sure. <laughs> it's evenings like this that make me glad that I stream my matches because when you hear someone talk about this kind like when you hear someone talk about like what actually happened here in these games tonight, 
you like, man, that person's a salty little bitch. There's no way they actually got that unlucky. And you're like, no, man, I've, I've video recorded it for everyone. We actually got that unlucky. E correct. Even, even just hitting, even not flipping to a blue source would have been great. Ten, 10 out of 10. A salty little bitch. Not close. This is a Monastery Mentor in the top third of your deck. Uh, just a Thalia deal. I mean, it's really underpowered in Vintage when you cast it as a 1 1 for 1, which it has been in 100% of our game so far. We do it is it is weaker in this format too because like you don't have good cantrips in this format. Like we don't have ponder and we don't have brainstorm effectively. It's weird. No one no one registers fugitive wizard. It's so weird. This is, you know, it's funny, before I went live tonight, I was like looking at this blue red Delver list that I turned into Jeskai, and I was like looking at this Jeskai mentor list, and I was like, let's try the Delver list. That sounds like a good idea. And this is just like, this is Magic Online telling me, you idiot, you should have, you should have played this version of the deck. It's got four Snapcaster Mages in it. There's no, there's no Delver of Secrets for you to tilt over, like... So after we lose three matches in a row to like horrible rancid variants with this deck, we will probably try this, depending on how late it is. Trigger, you motherfucker. I just like this isn't even fucking real life. It isn't it isn't even I'm just like full full just sideways fucking tilt right now. Just put my twelve dollars in the slot machine just to get Fucking ranched over and over and over again. It's my my anus was not ready for this. Oh, this has a restricted one condition. I've got a monastery mentor in my deck. So there's a monastery mentor right here. Missed the line of voice landing myself before scooping. Great. Yeah, totally. We can definitely 3-0 from here and, like, get my fun bucks back plus a treasure chest. If we don't, if we don't die waiting in the vintage, the vintage queue between now and then. You're not wrong, Betty. Grixis Delver just, like, prints fucking money. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, just so I don't make this mistake again. Also gonna delete this deck, because this deck is just, like, really fucking boring to play. It's a shame this deck ended up being bad because it was kind of a riot to play. That's right, right, hit the nail on the head right there. The variance resets every single game.
That sounds terrible. I just, I so like, I should probably play this deck because this deck looks like the deck that it's going to be beating other people because its cards are better than theirs. In formats like Vintage and Legacy, when I'm playing a tournament that I like kind of care about, and like if I'm paying $25 to play a Magic Online tournament, I care about it. But like, I'm going to put non, I'm going to put Force of Wills that are actual Magic cards in here real quick. These are not Magic cards. These are fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just want to beat people because my deck's better than theirs. I mean, it's a newer card, right? And, like, people don't play a ton of vintage, so, like, a piece of technology like that's going to, like, take a little while to populate through. Like, even compared to, like, Legacy, people don't play much vintage compared to Legacy. I'll do what I want, because this is my life. What takes longer, my Delvers to flip or to find a match in the Vintage queue? That's that's the real questions here. It definitely Delvers to flip. 10 out of 10, never, never flip a Delver ever. I have faith that we can flip a Delver in this next match, right? We're done registering Delver in formats where we can't put four Ponders in our deck. It should be, that's going to be the lesson learned here this evening. This deck seems neat. It's got a lot of good cards. It's got Dak Fadens and Jaces, AJs. Are two Jaces in there? Oh yeah, there's te technically a second Jace over here, right? Fair. Fair, there's a second Jace over here. Now, you usually don't brainstorm too aggressively to flip the flip Delver. Usually it's Ponder that's flipping Delver. Man, I am really bad at drawing power tonight. Is this deck unfun? I don't actually know how vintage works, so I don't know if my deck qualifies as unfun. This is just the part where I could see it right. Opponent had bizarre in seven cards. I could draw I could draw Black Lotus and play turn one mentor and be okay, right? I think if I draw, I think if I draw Black Lotus, we'll be okay. I get four four shots of Black Lotus. You have a Street Wraith too. Unmask. What a fucking tilt. Oh, I should have conceded, right? I should have conceded to this. That was a mistake. This was a punt. Should have should have conceded to this unmask. Now that 
Now that I'm in my bed, I'm gonna lie down in it. And cast this priority before I hit the concede button. I mean... Eh? He probably thinks I'm on a good deck instead of this shitty one. Is that what you mean? They missed a second dredger. Well, that... That's not bad. I know. I know I'm loud. I know. Oh, and then they get to dredge again for their turn? Yeah, this card's so messed up. How is that even remotely okay? I'll take you on. Head strong. I take on anyone. Uh, two bridges in there. Yeah, we're we're dead. I'm just I'm just let's Alright. At least this league will be a quick exit. Do something else with our lives. Not salty at all. We're really salty. Smash out, null rod out. Uh gush probably out. Delver, get over here. We need to bolt you. Truer words. I think these missteps are better than some of my other cards. Is this is this plow good? I actually know the answer to that question. Sure, let's do this. I have five cards to mulligan for. Two cages and three containment priests. I guess Spill Pierce is good at protecting the containment priest in my hand. We should just play the Oath deck again, right? If that's the actual answer. Play some Big Daddy combo ourselves. Besides into Force, don't they usually main deck Force of Will? I feel like they usually main deck Force of Will. I don't understand some of the things about this deck, but the core of it seems great. Like why, why is there a Sorcerer Spyglass? Why? Why is there a Trinket Mage in the sideboard? The pithing wheel is kind of random too. Oh, oh, die here. I'm gonna go to five. All right, remove Yugi boy. The Oath deck felt pretty reasonable, Ryan. The Oath deck is sweet because it can just, like, cast its cards. Like, so the, the Oath deck, Ryan, there's one Gristlebrand in here, but, like, the threat you're playing is Inferno Titan, and you're playing a bunch of other six-mana threats out of the board, so, like, you actually just, like, cast your cards pretty consistently. No. Mm. Help me survive here alone. Surrender, surrender. Huh? I guess I'm supposed to do this now before they get to draw more cards and draw towards Force of Will, right? Feels like it feels like I'm supposed to do this before before they get to see two more cards. Because they're going to have to just choose Doctor. You may return this to play, right? Yeah, so so responding to the Blood Gas triggers, this doesn't really do anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Open, open dough.
blue book value on that oath deck. Uh, Pete head Pete heads from another country, Ryan. So the Kelly blue book probably isn't a real, probably isn't a thing in Australia. I think you're Australia, right, Pete head? Kelly uh, Kelly blue book is a is a reference for pricing uh, used maybe new cars. It's definitely for pricing used cars in the United States. <sighs> don't play another one don't play another one you piece of shit don't do it just have a fucking heart why why is this why is this card cast it's possible I should have just wastelanded them I don't know now there's no guarantee I did another land that way right I'm about to get Gurmag. I'm conceding to a Gurmag Angler. Going fucking home. We're done. What a what a great league. It's just a uh, just. I know we're not actually dead yet. <laughs> was it gonna flip the Delver? Who's who's surprised that the Delver wasn't gonna fucking flip next turn? Is anyone is anyone out there surprised that the Delver wasn't going to flip? Just man. What a fun $12, said no one ever. It's so expensive to try and play Magic. Uh. Uh. Time to cast... Uh, honestly? Did, did we really not even win a game? It was, was it? That was the 0306? God, what a, what a dick beating.